All right, we're back at it with another JavaScript quiz assessment thing. This one's on LinkedIn, and I think I saw like Web Dev Simplify do this like maybe like a year or two ago. Figured I'd try it out. It says 15 multiple choice questions. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to do this, hopefully. And if you get them right, you get a little badge, whatever that means. I'm not sure if people really care about that. Let's just go ahead and do start. I'm just going to YOLO it, not prepare. Let's see, how can you attempt to access the property a.b on object without throwing an error if a is undefined? Let object equal the empty object. Um, so it'll probably be object.a.b, right? Object a b, but you want to use the optional chaining so it doesn't crash. I think you could potentially just do this one. Let me make sure though, because object will be defined, so you could just basically if A is not defined, choose B. I'm pretty sure this is the one we want. Does it tell you if you got it right, though? I guess it doesn't tell you if you get it right till the end. So let's try it again. What will be logged to the console? Var A is equal to dog cat in. Array index of 100 is equal to fox. Um, A dot length. To be honest with you, I don't know. I think it's four to be, I think it's four. I don't think it'll just make the whole length of the array be like three plus n. I think like when you try to set an index on an array, like under the hood, this is like really an object that has like keys on it and you basically just set a new key. I don't know. I'm probably gonna fail this quiz, but let's just YOLO it and click next. What does this code print to the console? Let animals equal to type line and tiger. Let clones equal to animals.slice. So clones is going to basically clone the entire animals array. Um, but I think it's a shallow clone, but this is a reference, so it'll probably take that. So clones of zero dot type is bear. So this clones is going to reference this thing and change type to bear, I believe. And then clones of one is going to be sheep. But since this is a basically a copy, this one will have sheep. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, console log animal zero dot type. So this is going to be bear, and then comma clone zero dot type is also going to be bear, and then console log animals of one clones of one. This will be tiger and sheep, I believe. There should be bear, bear, tiger and sheep. That's my final answer. If I get this right, Google needs to hire me. How would you add a data item named animal, which a value of sloth local storage for the current domain you ever like read it read a question you have to like reread it because you don't know what you just read um how would you add a data item named animal with a value of sloth to local storage for the current domain okay so how do you okay you do local storage not capital it's lowercase local storage at set item animal comma sloth this one is looking like this is what you want to do um, I don't think you have to do document.local storage. I think it's on the window. So let's just go ahead and click next. Which line could you add to the code to print Jaguar to the console? Um, missing line. Uh, okay, animals.pop prints Jaguar. So I believe pop is going to return, is going to remove the last element of the array, right? So you basically want to Probably pop before you do that. You could pop, and then you pop again. That should give you Jaguar, right? Let's actually read them. Okay, so if you shift it, shifting will take off Jaguar, and then you pop eagle. So animals reverse will basically, I don't think this will actually reverse in place. I think animal reverse returns a copy. I might be wrong about that, but if you reverse it, it'd be eagle and then jaguar, and you pop it, that would print out jaguar. You know, I'm just gonna go with my first thing, animals.pop, that'll get rid of eagle, I believe, and then you pop it again, that'll give you jaguar. Next, which snippet could you add to the code to print type tiger to the console? So we have a cat object with type tiger, size of large. Let json equal snippet here, console.log json prints type tiger. You just delete size then. 
Okay, so JSON. Let's let's read through these. JSON stringify cat. That probably wouldn't do anything. Oh wait, this is this is okay. This is converting it um to a string, I, I guess. Cat to JSON dot type. I don't think I've ever done that in JavaScript, so I don't know if that's even proper. JSON stringify cat comma slash type. JSON stringify cat comma man. Um, I've never used I I. Yeah, I don't think I know this one, to be honest. I don't think it's this one. This one doesn't seem right. Just stringifying the cat would not print this because like you'd also print out size. So I'm leaning between one of these two things. Uh, the regex seems kind of weird. Uh, I got to choose. I'm going to go with the array. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what type of function can have its execution suspended and then resumed at a later point? Um, that would be a promise function or an async await function. No, I'm going to say a generator. Yeah, I'm going to do a generator function. What document method is not used to get a reference to the DOM node? Uh... Query selector all. Query selector. Hit elements by class name. Hit node. Man, <laughs> this is a problem. When you code with React for so long, like you don't have to do any of this stuff. So you kind of forget how this all works. Query selector all. I know there's a get element by ID. Get elements by class name seems wrong because you'd probably just use a query selector. Um, I don't know. Document dot get node get elements by class name. I don't think I ever used the get elements by class name. I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. What snippet could you add to this code to print food to the console? Uh, class animal static belly equals empty array eat. Animal.belly.push food. So you want it to print out something, prints food. Let A equals new animal. So we make a new instance of the animal class. And we do A.eat, which is going to push to that static array here. We basically want to say animal.belly of element zero. Animal .belly zero. I think it's this one. Let me just double check. This is static, so it needs to be the actual on the class dot belly. I think that'll be fine. Let's just do it. Okay, I got five more questions. What statement prints roar to the console? Var sound equals grunt. Var bear equals object of sound colon roar. Function roar equals console log this dot sound. Um, what statement prints roar to the console? Well, I guess you'd want to... Bear roar. Bear roar. Bro, I'm so confused right now. Um, it's probably not bind. Because usually it's either call or apply to actually like invoke something. Binding just returns you a new thing. So if you say roar dot apply bear, this not sound. Yeah, I think it's this one. I don't know why it took me so long to do that, but it's definitely apply. What which choice is not unary operator? Which choice is not a unary operator? What the heck's a unary operator? <laughs> Delete void instance of type of. I'm gonna say void. It's the only one that doesn't like actually do something. Type of delete instance of not a unary. Type of and instance of are both gonna like I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say void. <laughs> I don't really know. What value is printed to the console after this code is exec after this code executes? Let cat equal object.create type of lion. Cat.size is equal to large. 
let copycat equals dot 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 cat cat dot type is equal to tiger um, object that create cat cat dot size this will kind of clone cat into a copycat and that should have a size and a type on it and then we say cat dot type is tiger copycat should say lion copy cat size Just say lion and it should say large, I think. Let me just make sure. So object.create should take this object and basically create it, I think. So cat.size, we, we set size equal to large, so a type of lion size of large. We copy it and we change the original cat to tiger. But those would be separate. Copy, copy, type, type. I don't know. I'm going to say lion. I'm going to say lion at large. All right, I got three, three left. This is hard. I'm probably going to fail this. What is the output of this code? Rainforest static minimum rainfall is 60. Let Congo equals the new rainforest. Rainforest at minimum rainfall is 80. Also log Congo dot minimum rainfall. I think this will print undefined because this is a static member and it would only exist on like the, the rainforest class, right? So I think... I'll do that. I hope it's not this one. I've been using a lot of TypeScript, so if it's the fact that static is not even part of this, that would be kind of embarrassing. Okay, const foo is equal to bar, name, and Albert. What is wrong with this code? The function bar needs to be defined as a key value pair. I mean, this code looks fine. This looks fine. I'll click next. All right. What is the output of this code? Let rainforest equal Amazon, Orino. I don't know how to pronounce these. Rainforest splice. So that'll remove starting at index zero two elements. So I think it'll be left with these two. I think this is quizzing on if this is inclusive or uninclusive. I think this is not including index two. I can't remember if this is the ending index or the, the length slice. I think it's going to basically take off these two, and then we'll be left with those two. Let's see if I failed. It says, I earned a badge. You are the top 15% of 2.4 million people. That's right. Go ahead and hire me, all these companies. It doesn't tell you what you got right or wrong. Only people who scored in the top 30% earn a badge. So let's see. Does it tell me which ones I got right? Okay, well, I can't figure out where like the answers are. I guess it's a good thing that they don't show you the answers so people can't cheat on this stuff. But I guess I did pretty good if I got the top 15% and um, only people who get the top 30% earn a badge. So that's right. Go ahead and be impressed. Um, now, does that mean that like if everyone else failed this quiz and I just got like five answers right, does that mean I'm in the top 15%? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. If you guys take this quiz as well, um, let me know if you come to the same conclusion in terms of these answers. I'd be curious to know which ones I probably answered wrong. Um, yeah, if you guys like watching this, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Also, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to join if you want to just find other developers to hang out with and talk and ask questions to. Or if you want to ask me a question directly, I'm in the Discord. Yeah, that's about it. If you have any um, suggestions of things I should do or content I should make, let me know. Leave a comment. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.